next we talk about analysis of electrical circuits that uh, contain ideal transformer uh, we are familiar with the concept of impedance uh, here we have a transformer ideal transformer and a load is connected to secondary winding ZL Here uh, we have uh, a load connected to secondary winding. Uh, we know that ZL uh, is equal to Vs over Is. A load ZL is connected, and this load is equal to is equal to the ratio of the phase of Vs and Is. However, this load, when seen from here, will appear differently. How? Uh, the volt, the the impedance which is seen by this voltage source that is equal to Vp over Ip. The ratio of the this voltage and this current is equal to the impedance which is seen by uh, this voltage source. And uh, we can see that let's call it uh, Zl dash. And we know that this primary voltage is related with the uh, secondary voltage by Turns ratio Vp over Vs is equal to A, Vp is equal to A multiplied by Vs. So Vp is equal to A multiplied by Vs. Likewise, Ip, Ip over Is, that is equal to 1 over A, which implies that Ip is equal to Is over A. So Is over A which is equal to A brought in the numerator A square Vs over Is. Now Vs over Is is the same as Zl so A square Zl. If, a voltage, if an impedance Zl is connected over here it will appear as if A square ZL impedance is connected to this voltage source. This is called uh, impedance transformation. Transformers, uh, for transformers, uh, when a impedance ZL is connected over here, it will appear uh, as if A square ZL impedance is connected to this voltage source. With this knowledge, uh, the procedure to Analyze electrical circuits containing ideal transformers becomes quite easier. What we do is, if we have an electrical circuit containing ideal transformer, we first draw an equivalent electrical circuit. Equivalent electrical circuit is drawn by uh, removing the transformer and uh, We remove the transformer and rest of the circuit is sketched as it is. Uh, the only difference is that uh, we refer all the quantities on the secondary to the primary. That is, instead of writing ZL, we write A square into ZL. And uh, once we have this circuit without a transformer, it becomes quite easy to analyze it. Uh, this procedure is called referring all the impedances from the secondary to primary. We could have even uh, referred uh, all the quantities from the primary side to the secondary side. Uh, we take uh, two circuits and we would like to analyze these two circuits. Uh, this is the first circuit. A uh, generator is connected to a load through a transmission line. Transmission line has its own impedance. Uh, this impedance uh, is 0.18 ohm plus J0.24 ohm. And uh, the generated voltage Vg is equal to uh, 480 angle 0 degrees. And the load impedance that is 
that L is equal to 4 plus J3 bonds. This is the current. Uh, this is first circuit which we would like to analyze and we would like to determine the losses uh, in the transmission line. Uh, another circuit that we would like to analyze consists of the same generator but now instead of transmitting the generated voltage we first step it up by using a transformer. So we have the same uh, generated voltage Vg is equal to 480 angle 0 degrees and it is uh, before transmitting it it is stepped up by using a step up transformer the turn ratio is 1 ratio 10 that is this generated voltage is stepped up by 10 times and then it is transmitted and uh, before final use we step it down again and for to step it down again we uh, use a transformer now with a turn ratio 10 ratio 1 and the same load is connected over here we would again like to uh, determine losses in the transmission line the objective of this example is twofold firstly we shall learn how to analyze electrical circuits which have transformers there and secondly, we, we shall see the advantage of using a uh, transformer in the, in the transmission of electrical power. We shall see that the losses over here are much larger compared to the losses uh, over here uh, when we use the transformer. The impedance of transmission line is the same. Uh, the analysis of this circuit is very easy. We determine the load current, load current IL that is equal to 480 volts, 480 angle 0 degrees divided by the total impedance which is uh, 4.18 plus J uh, 3.24. Uh, you know how to uh, make these calculations. To calculate it, you will first convert this rectangular uh, uh, from the rectangular form into polar form, and then you will perform the calculations. So this comes out to be equal to 90.8 angle minus 37.8 degrees. I hope you can perform all these calculations. So this much is the load current and what are power losses in the transmission line? Trans power losses in the transmission line that is equal to IL square into R line. Resistance of line multiplied by the current in the line. There are no power uh, losses in the this uh, inductance. The only uh, power losses are in this resistance. Uh, IL absolute value 90.8 square multiplied by 0 0.18 and this comes out to be equal to so you are already familiar with uh, these electrical circuits how to analyze it. Now we have another electrical circuit with transformers over there how to analyze it uh, we shall first draw equivalent electrical circuit. To draw equivalent electrical circuit, we shall refer all the impedances which are connected to secondary of this transformer to primary side of this transformer. So we have this electrical circuit. So just remove the transformer. Instead of ZL, we have A square into ZL. A square into ZL. A turn ratio is 10. So 10 multiplied square is 100 into ZL and this impedance is written as it is over here. We still have a transformer in the circuit and we shall again uh, remove uh, this uh, transformer from the circuit, refer all the quantities to the primary side uh, and uh, uh, this voltage is 480 angle 0 degrees. 
so equivalent electrical circuit for uh, this electrical circuit is over here and now we just remove the transformer refer all the quantities by referring we multiply it by square of the turn ratio turn ratio over here is a 1 by 10 so uh, we write uh, we refer all the impedances over here multiply them by square of the turn ratio that is 1 over uh, 100 so 0.18 over 100 ohms and then this is 0.24 uh, over 100 ohms and this uh, 100 divided by 100 is again ZL this is the uh, current in the generator uh, again the analysis of this electrical circuit is quite uh, easy uh, we determine the currents current IG that is equal to 480 angle 0 degrees divided by total impedance 4 uh, plus J3 plus uh, 0.18 over 100 plus J 0.24 over 100 which uh, comes out to be equal to so this is uh, the current through the generator if we use this configuration uh, the current in the line transmission line can also be determined this is current in the transmission line and this current I line that is related to this current by inverse of turn ratio that is so we know that I line divided by IG that is equal to 1 over the turn ratio so I line is equal to A multiplied by the generated uh, current in the generator A in this case is 1 over 10 so uh, this current in the line is 9.594 angle minus 36.88 degrees therefore the losses in the transmission line can also be computed what are losses in this transmission line that is equal to I line square magnitude square multiplied by the resistance of the transmission line and this comes out to be equal to 16.7 watts so you can see that using this arrangement we have much much smaller power losses in the transmission line compared to this arrangement where we did not utilize any transformer so this is how we analyze uh, electrical circuits uh, with the uh, uh, transformers in the next lecture we shall talk about uh, real uh, transformers